No, this isn't a Phoenix Wright video. That being said, let's play Objection. This is a DOS game, uh, which is actually kind of fun to play. Um, it's made by an actual lawyer, Ashley S. Lipson, Esquire. And um, it's, I guess it's meant to, I guess it's actually meant to be like a training game for lawyers to actually train them to practice law. That's actually kind of funny seeing as some of the I don't know, some of the things that you're supposed to answer to are just so ridiculous. Yeah, the game is a little... I mean, most of the game is pretty legitimate, but some of it is a little silly. You'll, you'll see more about that as we go on. Uh, let's see, the game is... Uh, I'll go ahead and leave the animation on. Um, I'll turn off the sound. There really isn't much to the sound other than the judge's rulings, which get really old after a while, and him wrapping his gavel, which uh, we can skip, I think. All right, I'm satisfied with the above setup. Always find you do not object. I always find satisfaction with the above setup. Yeah. And the lucky money. Yes. Okay. So this this is a very serious game, except for that animation at the beginning, which is kind of you know gratuitous, and you'd actually hear the the clack of the judge wrapping his gavel on the on his bench if the sound were on, but it's not so. All right, so here we go. So here are the controls for the game. Basically, the, the game is simple. You are a lawyer presenting the defendant in a murder trial. He is on trial for the murder of Beverly Hills heiress Sandra Stiff. A little pun there on the last name, I guess. So basically, um, you just object. Every question that's asked, you object, unless you have no objection, in which case you press Q, because it's a proper question. Otherwise, you press a key to um, represent one of about a dozen different objections that you can make. So let's go. Are you ready? Let's press rent, uh, return or enter. Yes, let's press renter to proceed with the trial. All right, here's our first witness. It's George W. Bush. State your name. That's proper. I'll say it's proper. Yeah, I mean, <coughs> asking your name and occupation is always proper. That's standard court procedure. Um, by the way, I'm going to answer, uh, you're judged on how quickly you answer this question. Like, see, uh, I got 25 points for that question. The highest you can get is 29, I think. If you answer right away, if you're just like, bam, you answer the question right off, you get uh, 29 points. So uh, I'm going to answer very quickly, and then I'll discuss the question and my answer afterwards. I hope people don't mind. So yeah, so Dr. Uh, Dr. George W. Bush is actually Dr. Quincy Smith, surprisingly enough, and we got 25 points. Uh-oh, he left out an apostrophe, and it's... Oh, dear. I Fa object. Failure. I object. The answer is not uh, punctuationally correct. Yeah. All right, let's move on. All right, that's an argumentative question. Basically, an argumentative question is anyone that just seems uh, contentious, just like it's it's either uh, putting down the, the witness or whatever. You know, it's pretty that that should be pretty obvious when you get those arguments. Usually, the argumentative questions are really obvious. This, by the way, is what I mean by the game being kind of ridiculous. I mean, realistically, in real life, no cross examiner is going to ask this of a uh, witness. we would hope anyway. Hopefully not. Yeah. Anyway, all right, let's move on. Uh, state your occupation. That's a proper question. He's a, he's a coroner. Ah. Okay, interesting. What did your own... Uh, there we go. Okay, so basically, any question about uh, what you talked about with your lawyer or your doctor or anything like that is privileged information. It's not admissible as court testimony. So I protested because he uh, starts asking, what did your lawyer say about this? So that's you know, privileged information. And just, just in case you're not sure, uh, objection sustained means that your objection was valid and the judge allows it, meaning the witness doesn't have to answer the question. And the opposite of that is objection overruled, meaning the judge doesn't think your objection is valid and, you know, answer the question. All right. Did you conduct any post-mortem tests on the corpse? Yeah, that's correct to perform those tests. Fair enough. Uh, okay, that's a multiple question. It says when, where, and how. Any question like that, basically a question in court needs to be very straightforward. It needs to have a simple and a straightforward answer. So that, you know, a multiple question like that is not permissible. All right, what made you want to become a coroner in the first place? <laughs> that's irrelevant. Sometimes, again, that's another one of those weird questions out of left field that sometimes... You had a up. hidden agenda. Yeah. All right, let's see. I'm doing pretty well so far. What information do you have about the killing? It's uh, vague, isn't it? Also, yeah, it's a vague question. Sometimes vague questions are hard to spot because, um, yeah, that, that's a bit, I mean, what information does he have? That's Yeah, sometimes those questions are tricky. How, <laughs> How can you lie like that and stand to look in a mirror? <laughs> that's awesome. The, the, game, the game isn't usually this funny, but we're just getting some pretty good questions. 
Uh, okay, leading question. Basically, any almost any question that starts with something like, isn't it true that, or isn't this the case, that's a leading question because it's, it's a closed-ended question. It's basically saying yes or no. So it's trying to imply something you can't really give up. They, they don't allow questions like that in court, apparently. Or maybe they do. I don't know. It's maybe maybe just in this game they don't allow those questions. Okay, what did you find as a result of the autopsy? That's a, that's a fair question. Ms. Stiff was stabbed. Okay, and you want to remember stuff like this, by the way. When you get information like this about the murder, you want to actually remember these details because you'll be quizzed about them after the... Uh, after the questioning. So she was stabbed. What did Sandra's mortician, uh, I think that's, okay, calls for hearsay. Hearsay is obviously when, you know, somebody else just, you know, it's basically like a rumor. What did somebody else say? It's not, uh, not relevant in court. What non, okay. Oh God. <laughs> what nonsense do you pretend to know about the time of death? Okay, that's an argumentative question. Uh, multiple question. Where and what was each guest doing when the body was found? Did you determine the decedent's cause of death? The weapon was a pair of scissors. Okay, ah. remember that. She was stabbed with a pair of scissors. What did you hear about the murder from her closest relatives? Again, that's a hearsay question. Uh, per rigor mor Okay, uh, I think that's a leading, qu yeah, leading yeah. question. Santa couldn't have died before 1 a.m., right? Wh <laughs> <laughs> Why have you been lying since you started testifying? Sometimes these questions are even more viciously worded. They're like, you're just a lying sack of lies. Yeah. You've, you've been just spewing lies ever since you got up there. I don't need something like that. It's pretty awesome. All right. Did anyone? Okay, that's a multiple question, obviously. Who, why, when, and where? That's that's what newspaper reporters are supposed to answer, but not a witness in a court trial. Uh, we tell you your determination as to cause of death. Somewhere around 5.30 5 a.m. Okay, let's remember that. All right, end of questioning. So, uh, at the end, like I said, at the end of each questioning period, you have to answer questions yourself. Um, you can say why for yes and for no, or you for, I guess, unknown or undetermined if you if you can't derive the answer from the testimony that was given. So here we go. Was the fatal weapon a blunt instrument? No, it was scissors, right? So Unless they're blunt scissors. Uh, I don't think so. I think I think the answer here is no. It says that's correct. Okay. Was Thunder killed before 7 a.m.? Yes. Uh, it was 5 a.m., wasn't it? What was the time? Did he give a time? Uh. uh I can't remember. The, these change each game. Uh, you know what? The, these questions change after each uh, playthrough of the game. So, um, like the specifics like the time of death and things like that, that changes each time. So I'm not... Yeah, he did. It was 5.30 a.m. Okay, I'll go ahead and say N. Oh, you mean not advance. I told you, yes! Oh, wait. Oh, I was supposed to say yes. I said no. Yeah. Duh. Okay, that <laughs> that ended badly. Wow. Very poor end, because if I'd given the right answer here, we would have gone on to level two. Okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and we were doing so well. All right. Um, I'll go ahead and stop the video here, since we only have a couple minutes left anyway, and I'll probably just go ahead and start the next video on the second witness, so that uh, we don't have to waste another whole video going through the first witness. <laughs> Alright, sorry about that, folks. Thanks for watching. This has been Objection, a fun little uh, little game for DAWs. I hope you've enjoyed watching. We'll see you later. Bye-bye. <laughs>